This is Kelly Orchard's Apple a Day, 60 Seconds on Wisdom, Success, and Personal Growth. One of my favorite Billy Joel songs is titled, I Go to Extremes. I'm a big Billy Joel fan, and whenever I hear a song by him, you can bet I'll be singing along. But the lyrics of I Go to Extremes are actually counterproductive. The mindset described would impede personal growth. Darling, I don't know why I go to extremes. Too high or too low, there ain't no in-betweens. And if I stand or I fall, it's all or nothing at all. All. Darling, I don't know why I go to extremes. Managing your life without extremes isn't easy, but achieving a balance is necessary for your personal and professional growth. In psychotherapeutic terms, emotional highs and lows could signify an imbalance and should be treated. If you've developed a habit of going to extremes, whether in business, romance, or even doling out punishments, it's wise to be honest with yourself and analyze how extreme your behavior is. For example, if you're trying to build a business and believe you must be attached to your phone or email seven days a week, that could be considered considered extreme. Or in a romance or another type of relationship, if you believe a person should meet all your needs and be aware of exactly what you want, it's time to let go of that extreme. And if you have a teenager whose behavior continually angers and frustrates you to the point that you frequently ground the child for an unrealistic length of time, it's time to let go of that unproductive punishment and come up with a discipline strategy that's more effective. Let go of going to extremes and watch your life improve. This has been Kelly Orchard's Apple a Day. Now, go out and be fruitful.